Hello friends, my name is Michelle Fondon and welcome back to our series on Twin Flames. I'm the author of Chakra Healing for Vibrant Energy, exploring your seven energy centers with mindfulness, yoga, and Ayurveda. This book in particular has meaning in this video because we're going to talk about the throat chakra, the fifth chakra, Vishuddha, our source of verbal expression for the divine masculine and divine feminines, you might need this too. So we're going to do this chakra meditation, this chakra clearing, this chakra opening. And if you guys want to see more, you can pick up my book in paperback, Kindle, and Audible. And on the Audible version, which a lot of people like to have the paperback and the Audible version, but I actually have an extra track with just the seven meditations for the seven chakras. And I'm actually running a special now that if you get my book on Amazon and you write a review for the book, then I'm gonna give you guys a percentage off of angel readings, which I also do. I do 45 minute and 90 minute angel readings over Zoom. Why the throat chakra? So as I know many of you follow many different vlogs and card readers, tarot readers, astrology readers, twin flame channels on twin flames, you might be aware of actually what is going on currently and the energetic climate. We're in May of 2019. And if you're viewing this at any other time, it's pertinent to you or your divine masculine twin flame. So what we are seeing is that the divine masculine is opening up into his spiritual awakening. Now I use the pronoun his, her, his versus hers for the divine masculine because a majority of the divine masculines are masculine in gender, however, or male in gender. And even though there is a percentage of divine masculine who are female in gender, it's okay. I, I just get too confused switching back and forth. So you replace it with the pronouns that work for you. In this collectivity currently, right now, what seems to be happening, and everyone who is reading for Twin Flames is actually confirming this, and as you guys know, for the Twin Flame collectivity, what I do is I receive intuitive messages. I'm not doing card readings for Twin Flames. I receive my own intuitive messages, and actually, because I'm a Twin Flame, and because in March, during that really powerful full moon, on March 19th or 20th, I believe it was March 20th, that I felt a perfect integration and balance of the masculine and feminine that I'm able to channel for both. So I'm able to channel for the divine masculine and I'm able to channel for the divine feminine. So as you know as well with my videos that nothing is planned, I have no idea what I'm gonna say, that there is a theme, <laughs> an overall story arc, if you will, but I, I really have no idea what the videos are going to look like or sound like until I'm done. So the interesting thing is that I've been planning on doing this chakra healing for the fifth chakra, the Vishuddha, which I wrote a book on the chakras and I taught a series on the chakras for years in my yoga studio. But when I was showering and getting ready to do this video, I kept seeing the color yellow, which yellow, of course, is for the solar plexus chakra. And it's really funny because it didn't hit me until I was getting ready and I'm like, wait a minute, the throat chakra is blue. Why do I keep seeing yellow? Why am I thinking of wearing like a yellow shirt, which I don't even have? Why am I seeing the color yellow? Well, the reason is because <laughs> apparently my angels and guides want you to know that the divine masculine is also having issues with the solar plexus chakra. So we're gonna do another video on the solar plexus chakra. Why didn't I start there? Because a majority of the divine masculines currently are having much more of an issue because they're awakening and they're getting ready to pour out their heart to you. They're getting stuck at this area of the throat, the area of the throat chakra. And the throat chakra takes care of like, of course, speech, right? Proper speech, being able to speak. So it's like the jaw, the mouth, the neck, the larynx, the vocal cords. It takes care of your thyroid gland, the parathyroid glands, and um, the both areas of the throat, the front and the back. So remember, it's not just in the front, it goes all the way through to the back. And of course, the color is blue. If you look on my chakra banner here, there is the color blue for the fifth chakra. The mantra sound is hum, H-U-M, like humming a song. 
And so we're just going to focus on the throat chakra for right now for the divine masculine so that remember, because you guys are kindred spirits, if you will, if you guys are twin flame souls, you are the yin and the yang of each other's soul, you are half of each other's soul, that whatever healing that you do also brings about healing in your twin flame. So if you're working on your throat chakra with the intention of also opening up your divine masculine's throat chakra, then it's going to work for both people. Now, it might have a little bit of a delay in the 3D. It might have a, a little bit of a, an opening, then it goes back, then an opening again. That's why sometimes it's important to do more than one healing for a certain area of the body. So the throat chakra is responsible really for truthful speech. So it's speaking your truth that resides within your heart. We, we take it from the solar plexus and, and really what I keep getting is that these divine masculines are already spiritually awakened. They have this awareness of spirit and they have a higher sense of hope and faith and spiritual trust, but they're getting stuck right in the middle where the trunk is. They're getting totally stuck. So they're getting stuck at the area of the solar plexus or their area of personal power. And I really, really saw this this week um, in an instance with my divine masculine where I, I felt that there was a lot of um, sense of not being as powerful as they would like to be. Area of the solar plexus chakra, then moving up into the heart chakra. So the heart chakra, of course, is like love, devotion, feelings, loyalty, laughter, joy, bliss. It's all those wonderful feelings of the heart. And then the truthfulness that resides in the heart is moved through the throat chakra through proper speech. So being able to communicate, communicate freely, communicate your higher truth, your um, spiritual truth, your love truth, your personal power truth, like all of that is able to be communicated through the throat chakra. Now, why do I personally believe that the throat chakra has been blocked and closed for most divine masculines? It is because for the past several weeks, I've been having issues with my throat chakra. Now, this is a chakra that I have actually worked on for the past 20 years. In my book, The Wheel of Healing with Ayurveda, I really explain why I've been working on the throat chakra for that long and how I have brought awareness to my throat chakra. So I've had a lot of mucus and coughing and a little bit of laryngitis and a lot of congestion around the area of the throat chakra, especially like here, right below the collarbones and like right here and like feeling the blockages here, which is really super duper unusual. And again, if you know my medical history and the history of my story, it started to create a lot of panic for me. But then I realized like, oh no, this is more like fifth chakra blockage from divine masculine who is having a really tough time moving into truthful speech with you, moving into truthful speech with himself, with his karmic situation, maybe with his family, with certain relationships that have been codependent relationships, and being able to stand in his personal power, move through the heart space, and being able to speak it out loud. And so he's, he's stuck like right here. Here is where he is stuck. He feels his personal power, he knows the truth within his heart, and this is the sticking point. This is where he can't deal with what's going on because he can't let it out. He can't like, you know how when someone's trying to say something and you're just like, spit it out, just spit it out. Like, he can't just spit it out. He's having a really hard time. And so because he's having a hard time, he's going back down through his heart chakra, into his solar plexus chakra, moving into self-doubt, moving away from his personal power, and then feeling that pain in his heart that he knows that he has to communicate this stuff. And then again, it moves back up and he's getting stuck here again. <laughs> so we're going to help him along and we're going to help ourselves along because if you're really connected to your divine masculine then you're probably feeling this too you're having to drink a lot of hot tea and you're having a lot of mucus and you're feeling maybe like a lump in your throat kind of like when you're upset where you feel that lump in your throat like you want to say something but you don't want to say something but you feel like you might cry and so all of these symptoms or maybe just a stiff neck like you're waking up in the morning and your neck is like really super duper stiff so like for me yesterday, that was one of the telltale signs that this was a chakra healing thing. And it was a, an absorption of energy from the divine masculine. 
because I got a massage yesterday. <laughs> and even after the massage, I still felt like I had a stiff neck and I was like, oh my God, this is really unusual. Usually after a massage, you feel really good and totally relaxed. And I actually felt more stiff and a lot more mucus coming up. And I was just like, this is nuts. Like I'm not even sick. I don't know what's happening here. So that's what it is. It's a blocked throat chakra because the divine masculine or like enough of them in the collectivity are not able to come to you and, and speak their truth and communicate. So you guys can do this meditation several times and I'm actually going to put a timestamp on the actual meditation so that when you come back to this video and you need a refresher on opening up and clearing the fifth, fifth chakra that you're able to, they're able just to go directly to the meditation versus going through the whole introduction to the video. We're going to just sit comfortably. And for this meditation especially, you don't wanna be lying down. Make sure you're actually sitting up in this, this meditation. Again, this is channeling from my angels and guides. It's not gonna be super long, but it's just channeling from my angels and guides to give you and your divine masculine what you need to help clear away these blockages of communication so that your divine masculine feels free to open up to you and feels free to start communicating with you again. What you need to do is just sit comfortably and close your eyes. The best way to really focus on an area of the body that needs to be healed because our hands are very healing. Our hands are healing tools, if you didn't know that already. So what you're going to do is take your right hand and place it in one half of a butterfly on your throat and then just place the left hand on top of that like forming a little butterfly here. So you're just going to hold bringing heat and bringing healing to the area of the throat chakra. And what we're gonna do is to clear that energy coming up from the sacral chakra um, through the solar plexus chakra, the heart chakra moving up into the fifth chakra, the Vishuddha chakra, throat chakra, we're going to take a deep belly breath here. So I'll close my eyes for this. We're going to take a deep belly breath in and just exhale. Ha. Take another deep breath in and exhale. Ha. And a third deep breath in. And an exhale, ha. Now closing your lips, just begin to breathe normally. And if you've been feeling these blockages in your throat chakra, you may have had, um, as I had a little bit of congestion or mucus that like came about during those breaths. If you need to use a tissue, go ahead. If you need to go cough in a sink, go ahead. Make sure you're drinking plenty of warm water and the element of the throat chakra is the element of air and air moves through space and you need to have adequate space for that air to move through. So we're just going to remain with our eyes closed and we're just going to focus and ask our angels and guides to help us through this meditation. I'd like you to visualize your divine masculine, visualize his face, visualize what he looks like visualize what he was wearing last visualize his eyes his nose his mouth his lips his ears his throat and you're going to pretend that you are also at the same time of placing your hands in butterfly style across your own throat that you're actually going to do this a little bit differently for your divine masculine and my angels are telling me this you're gonna take your right hand, and we're doing this metaphorically, right? But it's in visual, so we're doing this in the 5D. We're taking our right hand, and we're gonna place it behind the neck of our Divine Masculine, just cradling and cupping the back of his neck. And you're gonna take your left hand and just place it right in front, right in the area of the throat, just very gently, just bringing heat and bringing healing to the Divine Masculine and his throat chakra. So again, you're just cradling the back of his neck just very, very gently with your right hand and then just taking very gently 
your cupped hand around the front of his neck just gently and easily bringing that heat bringing that energy bringing that just loving unconditional love just bringing that to the area of the throat for your divine masculine as you hold this space for him holding the space of healing holding this space of comfort holding this space of of serenity and, and freedom to circulate and move into his truth and so we're going to invoke some archangels in this situation so just if you want to keep your hands on your throat that's fine if you want to visualize that you're holding your divine masculine around the area of the throat chakra so gently as you're bringing the heating energy to him we're going to invoke the angels so the archangels that we're going to invoke are archangel michael the warrior angel the one who helps to cut all the cords cut negative ties to free that energy that is surrounding the throat chakra we're going to call also archangel raphael which is the healing angel and he has an emerald green light that is really the color of the the heart chakra but Archangel Michael's light is blue. It's bluish white. So we're going to invoke Archangel Michael to shine that blue light on the throat chakra, Archangel Raphael to infuse that emerald green light around the throat chakra. And then we're gonna bring in Archangel Gabriel, the Archangel of Communication. And Archangel Gabriel's light is copper. It's a very beautiful, sparkly copper color. So Archangel Gabriel is going to come and surround the area of the throat with this beautiful sparkly copper light bringing about truthful and proper communication that's easy communication shouldn't be hard when you're speaking from your heart when you're speaking from your truth and a lot of times we're not taught to speak with our inner truth we're taught to sugarcoat things or to people please or to um, be in these codependent relationships where we're we're taught to not speak our truth to placate other people and other people's desires versus standing in our own personal power and our personal truth so archangel gabriel is really going to help us to do that and help our divine masculines to do that we've got on the left side we've got archangel michael on the right side we've got archangel raphael and in the center we have archangel gabriel and right behind us we have archangel ariel which is the lioness of god and, and archangel ariel has this strong powerful warrior energy that is is more feminine in nature because archangel ariel is very connected to nature but archangel ariel is 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 one to give us that power to move forward into our personal truth and so as your divine masculine is overcoming this this need to please this need to to hide from his truth archangel ariel is going to stand there like the warrior and help him to move forward into speaking his truth as archangels michael and raphael are setting up the conditions of healing and archangel gabriel is encouraging this speech archangel aria is just going to stand there with that forward moving energy to help him to move forward into his truthful speech so we're just going to breathe deeply into this just visualizing these colors but primarily visualizing this color blue that's surrounding the throat think of this beautiful blue sky this beautiful blue ocean whatever it is that helps you to visualize this healing energy just surrounding the area of the throat surrounding the mouth and the jaw and the teeth and the lips and the tongue the vocal cords the thyroid and parathyroid glands that are going to enable your divine masculine to be strong in his speech to be strong and eloquent in speaking to be able to share with you his inner truth his heart's desires his inner soul his heart his his personal power and to stand tall in his personal power and to not shrink back and be afraid because that's not who he is he is the divine masculine he is courageous he is strong he is truthful he is noble he is loyal he is honorable he is a king he is a leader he has eloquent and truthful speech that is able to tell you his truth and tell the world his truth and to cut away karmic ties that no longer serve him through his truthful speech he is healing with each and every breath and he is healing with each and every forward moving motion that takes him through to his personal truth 
So we're gonna breathe in this powerful energy of speaking truth. And we're gonna breathe out any reticence, any hesitation, any fears surrounding his personal truth. We're gonna breathe in deeply, just summoning all the courage and energy and strength coming from the solar plexus chakra, filtering through the heart chakra, being able to move on through with proper air, the air element of the fifth chakra to be able to move out through the lips, teeth and tongue and forward onto telling you his truth, telling his parents the truth, telling his friends and family and coworkers his truth and being able to sit and be able to have that relief because right now your divine masculine is feeling so stuck with this stuck energy, this blocked energy, this stagnant energy. And he might even be having some teeth problems, some gum problems, some tongue problems, some sore throat problems, laryngitis, bronchitis, dry throat, dry lips, dry tongue. He's having all of these issues because the energy is stuck and we're helping him open that energy. We're helping him to move that energy forward. We're helping him to free up that energy to be able to speak his truth to you and to others. And so we invoke this truthfulness to come through easily and effortlessly. And once it is open, it's like the floodgates are open. So we're going to allow him that allowing him that space to come through with this speech, with the truthfulness of his speech, just like the floodgates opening. And we're going to allow him this space and give him this space and hold that loving space for him. So we're going to keep breathing. We're gonna take about two to three more deep breaths. So just keeping your eyes closed, we're gonna take some nice deep breaths. You can move your hand positions as you choose, either holding your own throat chakra or taking your left hand in front and right hand behind your divine masculine's throat chakra, just infusing that healing energy to him, knowing that the archangels are doing their work this entire time. Taking nice deep breaths. And just saying to your Divine Masculine, you are free to speak your truth. You are free to speak your truth. You are free to speak your truth and I love you. So we're going to close this meditation with our hands at prayer posture, just bowing to our higher selves with gratitude to our angels, our guides, to God, to our higher self for allowing us to feel and seek this higher energy of healing and to be conduits of healing and honoring our divine twin flame, divine masculine's higher self and his physical self, just honoring everything that he's going through, honoring everything that you're going through and that knowing that union is imminent. So thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for subscribing to my channel below. Share this video with other twin flames and thank you for pledging your support on Patreon, buying a book, www.patreon.com forward slash Michelle S. Fondon and I will see you in the next video.